Hello, this guide will explain how to refresh portfolio slicer data in Excel 2013 or 2016. Uh, we assume that you already updated your external data files and this guide will focus just how to refresh data in Excel. So we'll open our portfolio slicer workbook and at this point you might enter some data into the transactions table or symbol table or account table or any other table that you should add data. To refresh data in Portfolio Slicer in Excel 2013-16 is very simple. Just go to the data menu item and here choose option to refresh all. As you do this, two things will happen. And... Uh, um, Unfortunately, the way it happens is not very efficient, but that's how Excel 2013 and 16 works for. So first, uh, Excel workbook will read all the data from your local tables. So the tables which I show transactions, account, symbols, and will refresh all of these reports, every single report you see here in, in this Excel workbook. After this first refresh is done, the next step will be Portfolio Slicer will read external data files and then again load them into the Power Pivot data model and the do refresh again. So this was the first pass went through, so the data was refreshed and you see again it still keeps processing data, the right mouse at the, at the bottom there was a, a message. So it's still refreshing, you have to wait a bit and it keeps refreshing the data still yet. You still cannot do anything. You just don't see it as a message. It, it takes some time. So this refresh process can take, you see, again, the message appears now processing data. This refresh process can take a minute, two minutes. It depends on power of your machine. And during this time, Excel will read the data again from your local tables, and then it will read data from your external data files and then it will load all of that information in Power Pivot data model and then will refresh all existing Power Pivot reports. Uh, again, expect one to two minutes time to do um, this type of refresh. After refresh is done, you will see this circle disappear and you are ready to use your portfolio slicer Excel workbook. I have to wait till it finishes because I want to show uh, additional one trick. Um, what happens is that this refresh, when you clicked data again and refresh all, it assumed that any data in any table could have changed. So it was a long refresh. So now it's done. So now all the data is refreshed. Sometimes you know that uh, you know, you refreshed all the data and all you do is you go and add one transaction here, for example, or, or change existing transactions. So really what you want to do at this point is to make sure that all other tables stays as it is, but you refreshing just one table in, uh, in, in this model. To do so, there is a trick. So you, you go to, again, to the data menu item and uh, connections, you then find table that you want to refresh in our case it will be trans table and you just click refresh so now what happens is that refresh will happen just on one single table not on all of them but on one single table so this type of refresh will be much faster uh, so you you'll notice that it's going to complete in uh, in less than half of the time that the previous refresh was done. And this is very useful when you just refreshing transactions where you, you already have all the data about accounts, symbols, and all your external data hasn't changed since last refresh. So this is done right now. We can close. So now transactions would be refreshed. Okay. So this is very quick refresh when you want to just change one transaction table. Um, that's it. That's how you refresh your data in Excel 2013 or Excel 2016. Thank you.